Well, you haven't heard from us in a while. We get that too many uh, videos online. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, President Trump should be impeached. I told you both a long time ago. I had um, heard a, a whole analysis of both about him and uh, Hillary shortly before the election of 2016. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And this individual was saying that he didn't expect either one of them to finish out the first term because of all of their criminality. Now, when Bush said, read my lips, no new taxes, broke that promise, I left the Republican Party. I, I left a long time ago. I worked at Perot. I've mentioned that before. And I vote independent. Unlike your first president, George Washington, I don't belong to a political party. My attitude is may the best man win. Now, the Trumpsters, which are basically a bunch of redneck hillbillies, you know, they're ready to shoot anybody on sight with their Confederate flags and all that. We've seen it. I don't want any part of it. I'm not in that. I'm not in that scene. Uh, I do like uh, San Francisco radio host John Rothman, KGO, 810 AM. It's a good show. He, like myself, is a former Republican, and he lays out the basis. You know, it's black and white. May the best man win. And I encourage all of you to listen to the show. It's good. I like it. The other thing that really irritates me about President Trump is, you know, he went after President Obama's birth certificate, and yet, what do we have? A first lady who is a foreigner. Now, I'm sure she's a very nice lady, and so on and so forth, but just the same. And I think that there should be, to avoid another Trump, we don't amend our Constitution anymore. And I think there should be an amendment that at least if you're running for president, you should have prior government experience. Because like so many of our presidents that have had, and I think probably most, maybe all, that's where you make the contacts. That's where you learn the system. Oh, I know all the thing about how bad establishment is. Well, there's nothing in the Webster's Dictionary that says establishment is a bad thing. Okay, that's not a bad word. It's not a bad thing. It's not. It really isn't. Anyway, um, I want to get on to real business here. Uh, Tyler of Secure Team put out a clip recently about the history of historical documents with regard to the UFO phenomena. I think it's one of the best clips he ever did. He's going to be making a, a sequel to it, and I'm going to have a link to it down in the uh, description. And there's also this unusual asteroid I have a, a, a picture of. I'll probably uh, put that into the clip where it's very obvious that at the top of the photo, uh, you'll see a lot of compression marks and, you know, if, if, if we do enlarge it. But there's obviously something that has been washed out on the asteroid toward the top. Don't know what that is. Don't know what was there. But when you do enlarge, you are going to get a lot of the compression marks. But you're going to see that something has been wiped out airbrushed. So I'm going to have that um, uh, uh, photo up there uh, on the clip as well. And like I said, you know, getting back, you know, Trump, he damaged one of my stocks. He cost me money. Essentially, he hurt me. And he's caused a great deal of financial instability and for somebody who is doing that, he should lose his job at the very least. 
Where the hoes to prison, jail, and all that, that'll never happen. The Clintons will never go to jail. You know, these people, they walk through the raindrops. So, anyway, I joined that uh, gentleman's group that, you know, impeached Trump a long time ago. Hey, you do something to me, I return the favor, you know. And, again, you know, he... Shouldn't have been there in the first place because I think that there should be a constitutional amendment for president that you have a prerequisite of prior government experience. Anyway, with all that being said, we'll see you in the next clip.